So now I'm going to be talking about public key, cryptography, and RSA. So this is a quick recap of how RSA works. So suppose you have Alice and Bob. And Alice wants to transfer a message to Bob. So now Bob has a public key which is a set of two numbers, n and e. n is just a very large number, which is a product of two primes, p and q, both p and q bring, being large primes. And Bob also has a private key called d, which he doesn't show anyone. And d is basically E inverse mod P minus one, Q minus one. Of course, from here we see that it's essential that the GCD of E and P minus one, Q minus one has to be one because otherwise uh, the inverse of E would not exist. So Bob tells everyone his N and E. So if there's on third person, Eve, she too can see Bob's N and E. So when Alice tries to transfer a message to Bob, suppose she tries, tries to transfer a message, say, X, then she encrypts the message X by the encryption function, which is X to the E mod N. And she can easily do that because she can see Bob's n and Bob's e. So Alice sends Bob x to the e mod n. Now, this message could be seen by Eve along the way. So when Eve sees x to the e mod n, we need to ensure that Eve cannot figure out the value of x, which is the message that Alice is trying to send Bob. So. The stability of RSA arises from the fact that very large primes, if n is a product of two very large primes, then n cannot be easily factored into p and q. So when Eve sees x to the e mod n, there's no way for her to easily figure out x. But Bob, because he knows d, he uses his decryption function x to the d mod n to calculate the message that Alice sent him because as it turns out d of e of x is just the message x and there's a rigorous proof for this provided in the lecture notes it's not very hard which just shows that x to the e whole to the d is just x mod n so this is basically how RSA works. Alice sends Bob a message after encrypting it with Bob's public key, which consists of Bob's N and his E. And then Bob decrypts the message using his private key D, and he gets back the message that Alice tried to send to him.